Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Gago coming at you with another video. So today I'm going to be continuing our Kata vs. By the Numbers series that you guys all seem to truly enjoy. And just sort of breaking it down, looking at the graphs, seeing where the population is going. And, you know, it is pretty fun. I get to use some skills that I learned in college instead of just, you know playing wow all the time and i think it'll be pretty helpful for you guys but before we get in the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so one thing i wanted to point out is just look at how successful these server transfers have been right here you see a packed orgrimmar and we are at three layers, and it is 11.40 in the morning on a Wednesday. So, or Thursday, it's Thursday. Um, but it is crazy to me to see how successful that is, and it's just something that you want to point out anytime you see something go right, and it feels refreshing, and it'll probably impact these numbers. That's why I'm pointing it out. And let's switch it right over here and dive into it. So this is the entire Classic 2019 timeline. Every dip you see, so like right here is when TBC launched, right here is when Wrath of the Lich King launched, and right here is where Cataclysm launched. So those are the dips to sort of break this into brackets and give you some uh, idea of the numbers that we are at and where we are headed. So Classic peaked at about uh, right here at 500,000 players and I believe this was at AQ launch and then we can go over here TBC peaked at about 404,000 which I think was SSC and TK or it might have been Black Temple. Um, then Wrath peaked at 626,000 players, and I believe that this was Oldham launch. And then we have Kata, which peaked at 317,000 Raiders. So two very important things I want to highlight is if you look at, well, these are peaks. Um, they stayed around 400 to 300,000 people for most of Classic 2019. Then TBC stayed around that 300,000 mark pretty much the entire expansion. Towards the end of Sunwell, it dipped down to 200k. Then Wrath of the Lich King popped off at about half a million for most of the expansion, which is crazy to see. But Wrath also was their most popular expansion. Then right here, it's just weeks and weeks of ICC it gets boring and people get bored and it goes down. However, we do see Kata and we see week one of Kata. Now, very important to note, while Kata did maintain that 300,000 sort of benchmark that a lot of the expansions did, Kata also rose very quickly and is falling twice as fast. As you see with the other expansions of Classic, we have this nice longevity that we can see and the trend between 200 and 300,000 players, mainly 300,000 and only trials off to 200k towards the end of the expansions. And Kata has done that in six weeks. So Kata is concerning because it is turbo falling and it's not its peak is what these first three expansions were averaging. So really worried for Kata. Firelands was announced. Uh, the weekly quests are available for Firelands, but right now Kata is sitting at 143,000. This is from September 3rd to the 9th. We don't have uh, the, any new data, so hopefully the next set of data comes out soon and we can really dive into it and see where it is located. But for right now, 143,000 is the number that we have which, as you can see, is quite concerning to be turboing downhill that quickly. So if you're a Kata player, I would, uh, you know, be concerned because it looks like, to me, Kata is falling very, very rapidly. Now let's go over to Sod. Obviously, Sod Phase 1 right here, 500,000 is the mark for the total people. Um, that was an all-time high. Then we see Phase 2 launch here. And as we can see, phase two was pretty nice. It's had that 300K number. Then we go down to phase three, which was Sunken Temple, which was 20 members. And so that kind of uh, cut it down a bit, made it a lot harder to pug, as well as Sunken Temple was a much harder raid to do instead of the Nomergon BFD that we saw as well. It took a lot more commitment. And then we trickled all the way down to 20,000 people. 
and that, then we see phase four come out this was the first week this this was just sunken temples again there wasn't any rating for that but then we see onyxia come out azurgos the world bosses molten core and saw it has stayed around the 80 to 90k mark all of phase four and saw it is going into uh, phase five in the coming weeks so it'll be really interesting to see where this number goes and as i mentioned at the beginning of the video highlighting the server consolidations um that just gives so many more people as well as we have the flexible rating so you can take 20 to 40 people into bwl so that makes pugging really easy you can get a pug you can get 30 people you can go in there and you can just sort of blast it without having any true guild scheduled commitments that you need to meet and i think that is really really important to see and i think it will impact sod in a very positive way i think sod could very easily peak in phase five or not not peak obviously i don't think we'll ever get to half a million players that we saw in phase one but i think we will definitely shatter this eighty-eight thousand five hundred and seventeen number um there's just everyone's going to be on the same server pugs are going to be super uh reliable and something that you could just simply do because you're able to get so many people with that flexible ZG and BWL, and I am really looking forward to Sod. Another very important thing to note is, as you saw with most MMOs, once they decline, they don't really shoot back up too much. Like, this is such a heavy spike of four to five times the amount of players coming back and playing sod and i think that speaks volume to how good phase four and hopefully how good phase five will be for rating numbers and i wish i could take a deeper dive and have true population numbers because i do know that there are a lot of players that are out there just you know pvp rating going about their day doing whatever doing their dailies and stuff like that and you know to those players you know i hate that you're not represented here because i think it is an important stat to mention because not everyone raids not everyone raids in any game um and rating numbers are all we have via airforge pro and analyzing warcraft logs the other thing is yes it could be people and their alts so an example on those numbers i count as two personally because i raid on a mage and a druid every week however that doesn't necessarily that, that might not be true for everyone right um it does take a lot and i am a content creator so i do have the luxury of being able to play as much as i want so it is pretty nice in that regard but i only do two characters so it is something to keep in mind when you're looking at these numbers and at the end of the day i have no bias either way i want to see wow be successful i want to see the classic project be successful because at the end of the day no matter what classic game you're playing as long as you're playing classic you are contributing to the hopes and dreams of a possible classic plus one day and that is the end game and that is what i would love to see the most so Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this analysis. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm wrong, tell me about it and tell me why. If you do it respectfully, I'll probably reply. But, you know, some people like to be a little disrespectful at times. But anyway, that's it for this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, you. Yes, you. Are you still there? Well, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.